Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Danny Z, and we're here in Earth Dragon Isle. We're going to fight the Creel Sphinx. Now, there are two different ways to defeat this monster. One way is to solve its riddles. However, if you if you do that, you're not able to obtain uh, any items from it. But if you beat it by brute force, which is your brawn, of course, um, you get a pair of... I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to show you. But first we're going to do the... We're going to show you both ways. It's going to be a tough fight. It's got uh, 13,000 health. And it does a lot of damage. So, I've equipped Karsh with the yellow plate. This way any elements used will heal him. But first, of course, we're going to do the riddles. Let those who disturb the peace of the land be punished. The music just does not. I wish it. The music should stay. Uh, stay the same as the home. Home. Uh, the, the, the Dragon Isle. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I don't think it should change. Quid me this, I am the Creel Sphinx, and thou hast trespassed on my domain. Why must thou turmoil to this land break? Now turmoil unto thee I give. Depending on how thy meet this trial, thou may be allowed to alive here leave. However, this be an island to which no man has visited for eons, and the Creel Sphinx has grown quite bored. If thou possessest the courage to match thy, thy wits to mine, Thou, thy sins may be forgiven when thou answer correctly my question six. Now riddle me this. All right, so right there uh, when it says now riddle me this, it gives you the opportunity to defend or attack him before he actually answers the first question. Once he answers, uh, I mean ask. Once he asks the first uh, riddle, uh, don't attack because he will continuously use earthquake. Usus S. Magister Optimus. Here be an easy one to start off with. Auburn nay the burn. Iron pyrite nay the fool. All that glitters is nay, but silence be. Answer my question, what is it I be? And this is where you'll have to use the innate that cor corresponds with the riddle he uh, describes. So, only. Do I not have any yellow innates? Hmm. I did. Oh, I got one. A one yellow and eight. I thought I equipped more than that. I thought I had like electro jolt and stuff. I guess not. Vas Varus, thou art correct. The medium fatty creep in corpit habit. Look, I actually don't know how to pronounce any of these words, I'm sure anybody watching, you know I don't, so I'm doing my best. Well, well begun is half done, now here my second riddle be. In my anger I see, both a rag to charge at and the flag to stop at, blushing I walk the royal carpet. Answer my question, what is it I be? That would be red. But we're not going to use a high red, we're going to use a low red. <laughs> Varus, thou art correct. Now riddle number three, Bin Remjigir. It isn't easy being a friend of the planet, with the jealous monster's eyes giving me a sign to proceed. Answer my question, what is it I be? Uh, jealousy, envy, which would be green. Green is always the, always the color of envy. Yellow is the color of a coward. Red is anger. Bruce, thou art correct. Thou catch on quick. Question four. A capisci? A sepi? Me et kelim et viola. God. I'm I'm probably uh, butchering these pr uh, 
pronunciations. Give me a melan melancholy gloom, but at first prize ribbon makes me feel I've royal blood. Answer my question, what is it I be? Melancholy, of course. Which would be blue? It makes it sound like it'd be black or white, but it's good. Verus, thou art correct. Valim TV attack, that's what it is. Just two more to go. Like pontoon, nay the name. Or Jolly Roger, nay the bones. Even the top rank of self defense be no protection from the plague. And that gives away the answer right there, which would be the Black Plague. So it's a black innate. I believe the only time you actually have a chance to steal something during this fight is to use pillage, which I didn't do, but that's okay. Igra and Candide, but who do it, right? <laughs> By deduction alone, you should answer my already know. What the, what the extorted one is bled with knuckles of fear, the plumage of a coward when faced with the hottest of heat. Answer my question, what is it I be? White! <coughs> Verus, thou art correct. Set the prata. Beverant. Be. Be. Vibrant. Retula. Felicitati twit. Thou hast solved all of my riddles. Thy brown. Thy brains is as strong as thy brown. I don't know about that. Bidvel. Bidveletto. Velito, always be diligent in thy practice. Mitsibi commando. Val, I take my leave of you. Farewell. As you can see, nothing is won when you defeat him using your brain, unless you use pillage for the red or if you have Fargo in your party you can use uh, wait no it's pilfer sorry for the red which is kids and pillage which is blue the still the blue still and eight for Fargo we're back and we're gonna uh, we went ahead and equipped surge with the yellow plate we brought Starkey in because I felt like since I equipped the yellow plate to surge since he's the strongest character of them all you know I'll do 200 to 500 damage I figured he should be the one with the yellow plate because he does so much damage so even if our two side party members die we're able to you know we have high defense we have a high attack and we have more innate slots than what Karsh had so if you do want to go into this battle uh, trying to defeat it with brute force I suggest not using a green innate character simply because unless unless you have Glenn if you have Glenn I suggest using him because with his dual Einlinesers he can actually do quite a bit of damage so and then of course if you have the appropriate ex accessories and a good uh, a good armor you should be okay so but we're gonna jump into this with Starkey kid and search Okay, so like I said, uh, before he asks the first question is when you want to attack him, because if not, you will only get, uh, once he asks the first questions, you can only attack him one time before he says incorrect and then hit you with an earthquake every single time. So before it starts, make sure you can go ahead and defend with Kid and Starkey, but after, 
Go ahead and attack with Surge. Quittest Quintum to Hominisus. Thou sayest thou canst not answer my question. Not factum. Then what have I to do with thee? Be gone from my sight, Abby and Malevrim. And then from here, I forgot that I equipped Holy Healing. Uh, one, the other one anyway. Uh, here, so you can just attack him. So if you want, go ahead and defend with him as well. Cause that, the, his trio attack comes. It's, uh, Earthquake, Thunderstorm, and I think something else. I think two Earthquakes and maybe a Thunderstorm. Thunderstorm, I should say. So that's why you should defend. Even defending, they still... Starkey and Kid are probably gonna go bye bye. Of course, you don't have to use Starkey and Kid. You can, you can just use Surge. But you can let your side characters die. You don't get a star for this. So from here, you can just attack and fight. Uh, with Surge being so strong, you should be able to defeat them faster than using a green innate character, which is better. But go ahead and never finish out your attack. Just go ahead and defend since Surge is so you know brutally strong. He won't take as much damage because he's not a green innate. So you can just attack, fall back, defend. You know, every every other turn your stamina should uh, fully heal and uh, since you're not taking as much damage, you shouldn't have to worry about healing once he uses a, a yellow innate. So if you miss, fall back, defend. This is why you equip the yellow plate though, because you don't have to worry about healing as much. And if you're defending before you, you know, you also don't use elements. I mean, you can if you want to. But you have a better chance of actually just fighting him with your brute strength like he mentions. So obviously my accuracy is horrible. But uh, if you're worried about what you're going to uh, be able to pilfer from the Creo Sphinx, don't worry about it, I'll tell you here, it's just a dinner drag. Fall back, defend, and then he'll continue to use Earthquake. Or just his yellow elements. This is why, once you, when, if you get closer to the end of the battle, of course, you could always revive Starkey and Surge if you want, or Starkey and Kid if you'd like to. Just so you have them for the end battle, but since you don't, you don't get any stars, it's, it's pointless because their, their stats do not increase. So having them dead for this battle isn't as a... a, 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 a I can't think of the word so I'm not going to struggle with it. <laughs> Try not to accidentally w run away like I almost just did. <laughs> okay, so let's... I don't mean to go for three every time. Fall back, defend. It's basically just, you know, the strategy of beating this this boss. With force, of course. Just constantly defend, even if he's gonna use, well, I mean, you don't have to defend if he's not gonna use an element. But. Just so you don't take as much damage as you can see you just defend physical damage anyway of course you're not going to take elemental damage because we have the yellow plate equipped this is why it's crucial to actually steal the plates from the dragons so like if i was stolen the black plate the, the fight with fate probably would have been it wasn't hard but it would have been easier or the fight you know or even the fight with, you know, the, the orb guardians, I suppose is what I could call them. Or the o the, the Omega. The Omegas. The, those could have been easy, you know, if they used Omega Yellow. But you couldn't predict, predict who they were going to use their Omega on, so it had been useless. I mean, you could have guessed and been, got lucky, but, you know, you, you never know. I say we're about halfway through with this health here. I do not plan on reviving Starkey nor Kid, so you don't have to worry about that. The reason I'm not reviving him is simply because 
they're not gonna do as much damage as Surge, let's be honest. There's, you know, Kid's there, she has her magic, you know, high magic stat. Starkey's there, he has high attack and high magic, to be honest, and high evade. His evade is actually 78%, but he may, he, he may be able to evade physical attacks, but his magic attack, evasive, is not so great. Since it's already low, I don't. I think I can hit a two. Nah, let, let's let's go ahead and defend. That way, it gets our stamina back to max. Fall back, defend. So, <clears throat> unless you're actually super worried, don't don't worry about using your uh, curing elements or your your healing elements. Because he'll eventually get back to the thunderstorm. Unless your health gets below 200, I wouldn't. Well, maybe 250. I was kind of stretching it there, but <clears throat> he'll eventually just attack you again with elements like he's doing now. And if you have the yellow play equipped, which you should, uh, it should put you back at full health. And this is why it's crucial to use Surge because he's such a balanced character except for his strength at the moment because I've got the power seal, two power seals and a dragon's gauntlet or dra dragon's honor equipped to him so his, his strength is 80. I think after this battle I'll show you the stats of Surge just to, just to uh, so you have a better understanding of why if, you, if you're not understanding my ex explanations. He's just one of those balanced characters. Just like a uh, Glenn's also another ba balanced character. Even though I didn't get him in this playthrough, it was it's just suggested that if if you don't care for you know much for kid or stealing or pilfering items, it's really okay. You don't have to care that much at the beginning because you can go back to the bend of time. So if you don't want to use Gl uh, kid and you don't care about pilfering, you can always get Fargo later if you really want to use Fargo. Like I did. Anyway, you can always go back to the end of time. Okay, I'm pushing it here, so I don't think. Let me go ahead and attack him. He's not limping just yet, but I don't want to push it too far. So I'm going to go ahead and cure myself. And even. Even if he comes in for the attack, at least I'm healed. I may not be defending, but I am healed. Okay, see, I should have just waited. But, like I said, if you get below 250, don't chance it. He may, you never know if he'll come in for a critical hit. If you feel like 300 is pushing the health limit, you can go ahead and heal as well. Beating this character is just a matter of strategy. Attack and defend, really. You, you attack and then you defend. You attack and defend. And like I said, again, for the... I don't know how, how many times I've said this. You really don't have to worry about healing that much because he will heal you with the yellow plate equipped. I did equip a revive to Surge just in case I wanted to bring back Kid or Starkey. Probably bring back Kid because I believe she has the other, yeah, the other um, revive. But I think I'm noticing a pattern here that once the field is turned full yellow, he doesn't use it, uh, and his innates as much. So you can avoid using elements, or I mean, you can't use elements of the yellow attribute or yellow innate because it, he'll just he'll heal. As you can see there, the there were multiple critical hits, and I think it's because I'm sprained now. But that's okay. We're at 333. So we have to be careful here. Because we are sprained, so we're going to take more damage.
Okay, I believe, yeah, we're gonna heal after this one because right now we're pushing it close. He may use... He may end up using a yellow and eight, which since we're changing the color, it's not full yellow anymore. He will probably use one. Yeah. But even so, don't risk thinking, you know, he's going to use an innate the next turn and then him end up hitting at you with a critical hit. Or even if you're spraying like I am now, you're going to take more damage. Just constantly defend and don't constantly try to hit level 3 attacks. So if, if you don't want him to use elements constantly, don't use anything other than uh, yellow elements because if you get like you see up here at the top left you'll see that it's a different color other than you know it's not a full field innate so he's gonna continuously use a yellow innate which is earthquake or thunderstorm until the field is full uh, full yellow again but as long as you have yellow plate equipped, you'll be okay. This is also why you don't revive any of your teammates because you'll have to deal with this. Constant bombardment. Especially if you're healing. I don't know why I keep going for the third attack. See, now we're taking more damage simply because we are sprained and he's doing this higher. Oh no. Okay, so now we're definitely going to take more damage. So, we messed up on that one. We're going to attack him. But we did not mean to use that. So we don't have another... Oh, we do have more... Okay, never mind. I was going to say, we're at a cure plus, and so we're going to have to use heal all, but we actually have cure pluses still. Okay, I wasn't defending, so he's still going to do quite a bit of damage. Okay, so when I attack here, I'm gonna have to defend this time. Although he should use elements. Okay, yes, good, good. We we were messing up there because we were we were not defending. I was gonna say it is crucial to defend because that can change the battle drastically, especially when you get a sprain from the earthquake effect. So. Marie Naras, impressive. Ne'er thought I'd there there'd be humans who could defeat the Kriegel Sphinx by force alone. <laughs> Thy way of life intrigues me to conquer all obstacles with brawn rather than brain. But I warn ye, woe shall surely befall one such as thee. Veil. Vale. That is how you defeat the Creo Sphinx using brute strength, using your brawn instead of your brain. Now, of course, you saw how to defeat the Creo Sphinx using using your brain, but you get nothing out of it. When you defeat them using your brute strength, you get sunglasses. Now, I'm going to show you what sunglasses do, or just at least read the description. Also, show you Surge's stats like I had promised. Okay, so, Surge's stats. Currently, the attack is 80, defense 50. Defense isn't bad. His evade is 11%. I'm not really worried about his evade simply because his defense is higher. His attack is high as well. His hit percentage is good. Uh, magic defense is decent. It's not great, but it's probably one of the higher ones. Make sure you have this equipped. You can steal it from the Earth Dragon, so that's why it's crucial to have Fargo in your party whenever you're fighting the dragons. And then, Sunglasses increases the damage done by all kinds of attacks you make on your enemy. So, let's say I take one of these power seals away, and I'm doing 500 damage. Okay, let's say 500 damage on a normal enemy. Now, when I equip the Sunglasses... I'm probably going to do close to 700 to 800 damage because it decreases the damage of all kinds of attacks. So that means even my elemental attacks are going to be even stronger. So I am... Uh, we're not going to... I mean, we can equip it, but you don't have to. Simply because there's only one battle left in the game. Which is the 
final boss which you'll see in the next CC which will probably be the last CC actually but thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up or thumbs down it's your choice I gotta go get this ankle fixed it's sprained